Tieflings. Oh, they're just cell numbers. Tieflings. Oh, Tieflings. Are you there? Wherefore art thou, Tieflings? I need you. Okay, there's a high chance we're going there. I do not like the screams happening in this place. I think it's all just going to be one big circle with nothing. Uh, and we have to go inwards, which probably leads to further downwards. I highly doubt there's going to be anything in these buck. Yeah, no, just, just leave it. I have to wonder if any of them are alive since I spent so much time running around. Hmm. Hmm. I rather hope they're alive. I don't want to have done all this for nothing. Well, I mean, they do for Catherick, but still. I really hope the tieflings are still alive. Be a right shame if they're not. Coast. Map of the Saw Coast from the Sea of Moving Moving Ice down to just north of Arm, including several of the nearer archipelagos in the Sea of Swords. A large red arrow stretches out from the east, then branches into numerous small arrows, fanning out across the land to signify the absolute's pan Paland conquest. Ah. Uh, Shadowheart, thank Look god guidance that. is a cantrip. Let's pop you open, shall we? Shall we indeed? Nice. At least things have stayed interesting. As you say. But where are the How prisoners? Can I go? Where are all the prisoners? Might be useful. There's nobody left. A list of prisoners who have passed through the dungeons of Moonrise Towers. The page opens to the following entry. Theon Featherlight transferred to disciple Balthazar's care. Well, he's dead. Yusuf Faraha, found dead in cell, remains sent to kitchen. Remains sent to... Why are you eating him? Ew. Anushka Tarasova. Swat allegiance to the absolute. Sent for subjugation. Note. Disciple Balthazar's experiments now take priority. All prisoners are being to be sent to his lab on his return, including no one I know. Where is his lab? That doesn't help because nobody was in those cells. I think I'm too late, if I'm going to be honest with you. I... I think I'm too late. Oh! Um... <laughs> may maybe we want to just check up here first? Might be some cool loot, yeah? Some super, super, super cool loot up here in... Oh, actually, I, I was kidding, but this works too. Gold has to sell for a lot, right? Really? And I don't have keys? I was kind of hoping that maybe some of the bajillion keys I picked up, but that might just be for the door downstairs. So, never mind. Let's get this lock pick. Oh my. Well, I succeeded. Trixie! These are very tricky. Oop, fail. Oh, running out of thieves tools. We're about to get down to ten. It's an uncomfortable number. And I've lost the Emerald Grove vendors, so I don't even have them anymore. I... yeah. Do I really care this badly? That's a lot of these tools I just went through. I'm not impressed with that okay. endeavor. To be fair, it was a high DC. I probably shouldn't hate on Shadow Heart for that. It, it was a hard DC. 
I still never use these because I never know how long they last. One day I'll catch a break. One more lock. I don't know that I want to. A lock. How tempting. It's just slightly easier. Shadow Heart. I'm gonna start like loads coming in a second. You do not start rolling higher. I can't afford to wait. I do not have. Listen to me, Shadow Heart. I do not have access to the vendors who can sell you these things. Please focus. I like how you can actually see her trying to do the job. I'd never noticed that before. I'm too busy looking here. Plus, it's usually on top of her doing the work. No one back home will ever believe this. Brow beaten circlet. The wearer gains a plus one bonus to spell save DC wealth. These items just feel so useless. Like that's all it does? There is work to do. Don't burn yourself. Give it to Carla. Everyone else is wearing something. I'd love to, thanks. It just the loot moment. just feels so useless in this game. Which is not a reflection, I think, on uh Larian Studios. I just generally that? think that's that's DD as a whole. Just the loot is not that great. No, the character heard. progression is just not that great. I don't think that goes anywhere. Okay, down we go. Should mind my step. <sighs> nope. All's well there. that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Yeah, well, that's... yeah. I don't even want to go adventure through those cells. There's, there's no one there. Is... where is the lab? We need to find the lab and that is not the way down to the lab. What the actual fuck was that? Uh... <laughs> For science. I'm fading fast. I'm so feel. much blood. Almost dizzy with the smell of it. You're inspired, but an oubliette. Okay. This idea sucked. <laughs> any other way down here i mean there has to be another way down here because you you can get back out of here presumably uh yeah i don't know about this one especially when we have no spell slots etc etc we have no way of getting out to heal let's just put a pin in it we know it's a very 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 bad option <laughs> oh my gosh okay I don't know what to do with that. I don't know where the lab is. Where are these freaking tieflings? They're just invisible. They're gone. Are they all dead? I just, I don't know. Uh, from what I hear, the Ublia is a dead end. So we well, shan't be obviously me. taking that route. Uh, the only path left is to try upstairs. So that is what I shall do. I quickly watched um, an instructional video and these cells are in fact supposed to be full of people. If you actually infiltrated Moonrise Towers and didn't get locked out of it by the bloody night song. I know they were saying, hey, this might block you out of certain things, but unless a like, game specifically tells you what you're going to be locked out of, that's not a particularly useful piece of information. So it's meant to be like a whole thing here where you can just like sneak in and let them out and like get in on some plans of some gnomes to, to break them out of jail and some shit like that. But instead I just get empty jail cells because 
it's it's been and done. It's all happened. Even though you would think that I'm ahead of everybody else, because they've slowly taken. Oh, I suppose I took the time to find Night Song, whereas they came to Moonrise. Eh, I suppose that's true. Um, but anyway, yeah. I can only assume, as per the note, they've been taken up to. Uh, I wouldn't say up, I don't really know where they're going, to Balthazar's laboratory. I can only assume it's upstairs because I'm downstairs and there's nothing else here other than the Oubliette, which is a dead end, from what I hear. It looked, looked pretty bad down there. So I have to assume it's upstairs. I don't need that, but there's, there's, no, there's no hints, there's no clues, there's no information. So, there's not even dead bodies to say that prisoners died here. So, wherever the tieflings are, they either are safe somewhere else, or they died somewhere else. Neither of which bodes well for me, and I'm really quite bummed out that I don't get to experience that. Get to experience the, the prisoners in the cells and all of that by having the night song pretty much just fuck me over. I'm feeling a great sense of disappointment in having gotten her out and let her go do her thing. She better... Oh, did I have a loot you? She better make the Catherick fight so freaking easy because she's participating or I don't want to hear about it. Open up. Because I have sacrificed a good approach in this game for her. So she bloody better have a lot to compensate me for with. Has to put my hands on everything. So hey, is that a dig at me? I'm I'm feeling distinct feelings of disappointment. I really am. And I know that if I go upstairs, I'm going to get into more combat. Because <sighs> I saw them on the map. Well, don't know about you, Jahira, but I need a bloody long rest. My team is fucked. I'm out of potions. I don't know where Tally is. Tally! Like a good moment to talk. I need it's a grim task. potions. Well, the way I hear it. The fighting's not done yet. Oh, I know. We We've got a lot of fighting to go. Oh, I already bought things from you this morning. Lady Thanks, Tally. I'm just really sad right now. I just, I feel deflated. Cheated out of a good storyline. And just exhausted after these really bad battles. I honestly don't know how you're supposed to have won that last battle without trying to cheese it the way I did. Mm, I'm spent. I just, I, I don't know how it's supposed to be done because <laughs> that is the only way I survived. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, why is Gail all sparkly? Gail, I don't have the wherewithal. The wherewithal for this. Where are you? Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. Is now really the time or place? Uh, you're not Gale? You are speaking to a mere projection of Gale. His appearance, his voice, and a certain measure of his personality. <laughs> we constituted in this case to play as emissary and usher. Would you um, care to join him? What little I could glean from the portion of his mind that is open to me, it is a matter most urgent. Okay. I'm concerned. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. Okay. But I'm long resting. Ah. Uh. I'm going to assume that's compulsory. Oh, we need to cutscene it. God, why do I always look tr like trash in these scenes? <laughs> okay, you're still doing glowy things. Why are you doing glowy things? What are you even doing? There'll be no romantic scenes from me, Gail, if that's what you're intimating. This is very pretty, though. Don't 
Don't look at me like that. We're just I love this time friends. Of There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. When you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. It's a very pretty sky. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. Don't look at me like that. This is not happening, buddy. It's Brett Nightingale. Is the starry sky you're doing? You seem especially philosophical this evening. Are you all right? Why did you summon me here? I'm afraid it's all just a fantasy. I mean, yeah, but let's just see where it's going. I will be. Soon. I am perhaps just one hard day away from being without any troubles at all. Oh my God, why do you have to put it like that? This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of beauty and wonder. Fair. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Is this truly what you want? To die for the promise of Mistress Forgiveness? It's a heavy burden, yes, but one you are able for. Think of the good your sacrifice will do. You speak as if this affects you alone. How many will die if you unleash what's inside you? Are you not afraid? I refuse to believe this is the end. We'll find another way, I promise. Thank you. But even if we do find another way, perhaps this is the right way. I don't think it is. The end fate wishes for me. Speak to Withers. He knows about fate. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. Nothing is inevitable. Not when we face it together. You don't have to die. You sound sure in your course of action then. Your terms, but others' lives. What about everyone else who perish in your wake? Why are you so sure it's inevitable? We haven't even found this heart of the absolute yet. I can feel it. Ever since we set foot in this strange, corrupted land. You didn't tell me this. The closer we get, the heavier my own heart becomes. Could just be your subconscious. Stay with me a while, will you? Day will come all too soon, even in this place. I can keep you company, but at the same time, I wonder if it's your subconscious telling you that the absolute is there and that's where your duty lies. So every step you take closer, you're unintentionally making yourself feel worse about it. Just something to think about, Gail. I'm not going anywhere, Gail. I'll be by your side, whatever dawn brings. I'd rather not listen to you wallowing in self-pity. Good night, Gail. No, no. We can give him comfort on this night. Yes. It's not comfort. But there is so much to live for and so few moments in which to house it all. Damn you. Damn you for giving me so much to care about. Our friends, our adventures. <laughs> this would have been so much easier if it was just me. But it isn't. If there is a way, any way, to save all that's grown dear to me, I want to seize it. I just cannot fathom what that might be, other than to fail Mistra and condemn the world. Stay with me, will you? I don't want to think of it anymore, but I don't want to be alone either. Ugh. He kind of choked me up with the damn yous and <laughs> making him care. I was not expecting to be hit like that. Oh my gosh. I was hoping to speak to you, as a matter of fact, about the night you were kind enough to keep this melancholy wizard company. <laughs> Go on. I wanted to, to thank you. I was sinking into a dark place. But you reminded me there is still light in the world, if I should care to look for it. 
you. You may well have prevented me from doing something very rash in the near future. I count myself lucky to call you a friend. Hmm, <laughs> careful. I may just take you up on that. Ah, uh, he hit me in the fields again. <laughs> Hard there. <sighs> oh, I didn't see that. Oh, fuck me. I didn't see that. I did not see that from my position. Oh my gosh. I thought going down the center, these numpties were going to run into it, but then I just direct us all into it anyway. So I'll just go straight to the middle. I got out without damaging myself. How is it I cannot get in without damaging myself? Oh, Gail, what are you doing to me? Breathe deep and move. Get there however you will. There you go. They're banking left, they're banking right. Fantastic. Uh, I guess we just collect Jahira and we go upwards again. Oh, no we don't. We see Tali. Something's on my mind. Just tell me what you need. I need as many bloody potions as you offer. Do you have any, like, rogue morsel or <sighs> anything floral in nature? I know you're not, like, out collecting these things, but still. I forgot she doesn't have smaller potions. I mean, to be fair, I have a lot of those, so that's oh, alright. Uh, Lady okay. Light. That gives me a few to deal with. Not as many as a girl might like. Okay, continue on. I could just spam the long rest. Actually, do you have supplies on you? <laughs> spam the long rest and just keep getting potions. Just tell me what you need. I am not above doing this. Honestly, if she's gonna sell me this every single day, I am not Maybe. above just doing that for like 10 days straight until I get enough potions for the Catherick battle. I am not afraid to do that, given how much I've just struggled with both battles inside this building. I am not afraid to do what I have to do to survive. Hey, Dahira. There's going to be a battle upstairs. I can see them right there. More Necromites. God hates me. As long as we hold this floor, the tower is ours. I'll stay here. Ensure no one comes up or down without a scimitar. Oh, why do you look crazed, Dahira? You're close now. The final audience with Ketherick Thorm awaits. Uh, I've got to find Balthazar's lab laboratory. Unless it's one of these rooms I've already been in and I didn't even notice. I detect a hint of envy. But how would you like to be there for the finale? Huh. Keen eye. I suppose I could be persuaded. God, can you just tilt your head down just that little bit? And consider yourself persuaded. Fair enough. The time has come. Ketherick will taste of death at last. Just so you know, I'm not going to care. <laughs> We've got a long way to go before we get there. So let's get back here and find out how to survive. Who's sleeping on the job? What? Is it still claw? Oh, still claw sleeping. <laughs> Did he get tired of looking at Tahishi? I don't remember the gender of it. Do they get tired of looking for a... Uh... Oh my. It's a one-way passage. Uh, tap holes. Let's just squeeze through walls. So these guys are ready to just destroy me the minute I get through. I'm not going to let that happen. Hello, Mistress of Souls. I just went through some bullshit earlier with other Mistress of Souls. Uh, I hope... Okay, I, I can't see anybody in these adjoining chambers. Adjoining, sorry, adjoining. Uh, so, we are all going to proceed with absolute caution as we cast 
this spell. I think spell. you can take me on. Brilliant. I love that. Uh, please rage, Karlak. And get in there and kick some honey buns. Like, again, they're not huns, but yeah, I still like the phrase. Go. Gonna take? Ah, we were supposed to have reckless attacked. Yeah, that's... It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We got through, we got through. To be fair, I could have left that for everybody else to clean up with because you would have one-shot them anyway. Point is moot. I can't even catch my breath. I uh, no point in you going to get yourself killed. You stay there, Nevea. Consider my hackles raised. Good. I consider them raised. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm so sorry, Jahira. I forgot that you can't really do much. I could wild shape. Doesn't seem relevant though. You will die Wait, baby, oh, yeah. Jesus, they don't hold back, do they, on the fireballs? I mean, I'm not even using fireball to this extent. I don't even have fireball to use at this extent. To this extent, you know what I meant. Okay, lady. You are a menace on society. Get. How's interrupted? I don't think so. <laughs> Grim, but I'll take it. I was going to have you do your spirit guardians, but quite frankly, there doesn't really seem to be a need as of yet. Just go attack this thing. Oh, you can't attack it with your thingy. Never mind. Uh, you are gonna block the path, just so you know. Let's make this quick. But the thing's gone, so you can get through. Wonderful. Uh, we hurt. Oh shit, she's gonna fireball us into oblivion. Ah, uh, didn't think this through, guys. Maybe instead of killing the death looking thing, you can go kill her. Ah, uh, not Shadowheart, Karlak. I'm more concerned about me. Thank you. Yeah, it's bound to happen. Okay, reckless attack on this woman. I want her beaten into the ground. I want her to her viscera to no longer exist. Thanks, Kalak. Okay, I kind of overkilled it with the core lightning. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> In hindsight, it seemed to be unnecessary. Let me guess. You oh, I can't heal you. You can heal yourself. Kind of really should be used in combat. All right. Do you mind if I toss a potion at you? Does that only work in combat? <laughs> Can you not just throw it at Jahira? Target is too close. What happened to this throwing and healing business? I feel like I'm about to waste a potion. Ah! So throwing it at them is like throwing a glass bottle at someone's face. But if you throw it on the ground, it splashes up and heals! Uh, she is down a lot of HP if we're going to be going by this. Look, that's all you get to hear. Don't want to hear you crying about it. I don't know if I just quick saved. I have no idea what I just did. Oh, I probably should loot them. Oh, well, we're here now. Uh, okay, scruffy room. Check. Just as Mirror's Tower's first floor. Okay, not seeing anything special. A little gift. Don't mind if I do. No word from Balthazar. That's because he's dead. Missive from Catherick. We already have the invasion plans for here. I don't need those. Uh. Marcus, I assume no explanation is needed for just how rare these appendages are, and I trust you shall make good use of them. You have a golden opportunity to please the general. Do not squander it. Double space. Access to the unwilling donor has proven difficult since the harvesting, but if I am afforded the opportunity, I shall pass along your gratitude. Be Was it an asthma? Balthazar has neither sent 
I sent another word nor notice. Wherever he's gone is a mystery. Needs someone to investigate his chambers. But no doubt he's rigged the thing to high hells. Perhaps hopper goblins. Okay. Is this his room here? Ooh, that's a bad door. Gortash. The tone of your recent letter is inappropriate. You may follow the Lord of Tyranny, but I do not answer to him or to you. It isn't the fault of any of the Chosen that the artifact has gone astray. Unforeseen events occurred, as they always do. Oh, wait, what? Hold up. Gortash, the Lord Counselor in charge of the Steel Army of Baldur's Gate, is contacting Catherick Thorm about the artifact. Gortash is wanting the artifact, not Catherick Thorm. That is a fucking problem. I acknowledge your planning mastery and brilliance of mind, but you lack the depth of experience to th that brings patience and composure. The artifact will be found. Our enemies will be thwarted. We will prevail. Now show us that you are reliable as well as brilliant. Uh, hello, companions. Anybody want to react to that one? That's a bloody bombshell. We didn't know that. I don't think. I'm not aware that we knew that. Key. Key. Got a key. Key! Oh shit. Oh shit. Didn't they just say it's trapped? Guys, if your perception checks are shite, I'm going to kill you myself. Oh. My god. Uh, this is making me fear that the tieflings are dead. An intact moon lantern. Protruding books. Oh, I don't trust that. Where are the tieflings? Have I seriously consigned them to death? But what about Moll and Zevlor? I swear, if doing the good thing of freeing the Night Song has put me in this position, I'm going to kill the bitch. Engraved the Githyanki disc. Orpheus, Orpheus. The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. Yes, I the know. The symbols are striking to look at. Oh, this is another sure one of those Without maps. Without a cipher or primer to aid you, the disc's message could be near impossible to discern. Compare the disc to the one from the crash. A pattern forms as you gaze at the disc, and from within that pattern, a story emerges. The Prince of the Comet, <gasps> Part Three. Part the two? histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver. That his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelaman. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Blacketh's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one, given how expertly it was encoded. This is fantastic! I don't think we're going to be able to fulfill this quest line because they lays Elfman on my party. She'd be fucking dead. But that's great. I was really wanting to find out more about Orpheus. I said I'm still not. I'm still worried that I'm going to miss out on that uh, storyline because of Lazel. I hate myself. Okay, let's just touch the things that look like they can be touched. The things that look like they can be touched. My faith will guide me. Your faith will guide you? Your you faith will you? guide you, Shadowheart? Honey, you don't have faith at the moment. You just displayed a remarkable lack of it. Shadowheart, we had these words earlier. No, 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 no. We had these words. I don't have that many these tools for you to be doing this. I forgot to see if Tally had any. That's on me. I need more vendors. Give me Aaron back. Aaron was great. Aaron was good value. I don't think I utilized Aaron as much as I would have liked to. Give me Aaron. Yeah, okay, shut up. I'll give him another try. Let's see 
what my touch can do. Little if the previous one was to go by. Thank you. I will take that. And rejoice. Can't give up now. Derivation cloak. When you poison a this game has literally force fed me a poison build and I can't use it because I don't have Gale. I mean, of course, anybody in this party could bloody do it. But I want Gale to be my poisoner. But I just, I need this mod. I dare not mod my game while everything is so unstable and uncertain at the moment. But I really want a poisoner. When you poison a foe, you kill yourself for hit. Like, that is freaking amazing. I'm half tempted to just go poison on myself so I can experience, except for the fact that core lighting is freaking delightful. Uh, can I take this? Thank you. Oh my word. Goblin troops, though crude and a bit dim, are valuable because they are adaptable and can be fitted into a number of different military roles, excelling as archery skirmishers and walk cavalry scouts. You are correct, actually. They are quite versatile. If rigorously drilled, some can function as disciplined phalanxes, armed with half pikes, and even the ones who can't be trained to march in step can serve as prime catapult fodder. <laughs> they serve their life's purpose. The key to retreat of recruiting a tribe of goblins is their profound respect for their priests, who lead the tribe members in the worship of all conquering Maglubiet. Therefore, that the high priests of the seven tribes of the southwest sword coast be invited to a grand council, a feast where they will be well fed, well flattered, and well lubricated with jugs of plonk laced with a mild paralytic. The priests will awaken with new guests in their crania <laughs> and be led into docile devotion to a new and greater god than Magubiat, the Absolute. And trust me, where the priests go, their worries will follow. Except for that one dude who was in a cage who I couldn't save. I think he died in the cage. Advisor Balthazar. Wise words. Uh, excuse me, squelch, squelch, squelch. Hmm, I'll take that. Balthazar, personal notes too. Where's one? Oh, this is very short. Note, install a drain beneath library's conventional medicine shelf. It's wasteful to let all that blood seep through the flagstones and it will rust the spikes beneath. Besides, a line slashes through the above in the same hand, fresh ink below. Disregard, the smell gives me sweet dreams. Uh-huh. A heart? Oh, I don't... That might be worth a look. I don't know that I wanted to pick that up. <laughs> uh, why is the heart so special? I suppose I see rib cages everywhere I go, don't I? Oh, there's another heart over there. Okay, they're not special. Never mind. Protruding book, protruding book, protruding book, protruding. I don't trust any of them, quite frankly. They can protrude as much as they like. Lever! For what? The door? Traveler's chest. Note three. I still haven't found notes one. Where were they? Request from the next caravan. Any works by Mordenkainen must catch up on current events. No, Volo. Better a century of ignorance. Huh? Hin Vellum. Holds ink like no other. What's Hin? Got harvest from an acolyte. I don't even want to know about that. New copy of Swift and Sudden Death for Library. Current volume badly scorched. Is any of this supposed to be information for me? Because I don't get any of this. Oh. Okay. We've got levers. We've got protruding books. And we've got levers I specially found. Sorry, protruding books I specially found. This all sounds very horrible. So, how about that next room? <laughs> I don't want to touch any of it. It's all going to be very bad. Oh, it says around blast. Rip. Oh. Is this for this? Ugh. Uh, there's another door there. Mm. Uh, 
I can get there. It's just a lot of effort. <sighs> what do I do with the, the things? Am I supposed to be doing anything? Last report. Where is part one? Aquarian minds wish to know. I, I don't know. I just don't know. Can you please travel safe? This way. Well, that's a right shame. unfortunate. Oh, we're out the front. I see, I see, I see. Is lockpicking possible? Yes. Uh, oh god, Shadowheart. I was like, are we short a person? Or am I needed? Speaking of being short a person. What's next, I wonder? That requires a natural 20. I'm very confused. I didn't deviate, did I? I did deviate. I'm an idiot. I have deviated. Back this way, guys. I completely forgot about the other paths. I was like, it has to be this way. I can't open that door no matter how much I beg myself to. Oh, we're still shadow heart. Whoops. So, <clears throat> it has to be to rest. the other way. But I kind of feel like way. there's more here? These protruding books have got to have something to do with something. 